Welcome to the shop. Get, the, get started, baby. Get started. <laughs> Woo! I'm having problems here. I there see that. Ah, oh, yes. This is our second field of beast. If you can get the door open. Hey, why don't we open it? We are in the shop. That chairs. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the shop. Get the started, baby. Get it started. <laughs> Okay. It's about yes. dark as a bitch. Well, uh, this is one of the cars we own. This is uh, a red 92 S13 I just got recently. Uh, I traded a Firebird for it. 
and um, the reason I traded the Firebird is because I couldn't pass this car up, but um, it was cheap enough because it has a rod knock. I'm going to fire it up once just to let you hear it because it sounds good besides the rod. Um, sounds good besides the fact that it's knocking like a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> it's a nice car, but uh, I just got to fix the rod knock and the bearings and it'll be fine. Until then. <laughs> Until then. I'm concerned. I'm, I'm about to catch like a piss into the face. I know, that's why I'm kind of like standing angled, but... Oh. Oh, we don't have motor. We're going 30 miles an hour right now. This thing it. sounds worse now than it did like two months ago that when first Brandon start was, was here. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't got much, but uh, I can't wait to put new rods and bearings in this one. Um, it, I think it has a cam in it, but I can't tell under the rod knock. So, <laughs> free, cam. <laughs> free cam. Free <laughs> cam. Script? What are you doing, Max? Oh my god! Maybe one day I'll go back up there, but I just don't have oh, motivation. Oh, stop that. It's, it's, really it's really just like, if, if it wasn't so boring, it wouldn't be so bad, and that's coming from someone. Take my team, I'm gonna show you how to do it. 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 Such a fucking banger. I wish it was longer. Look, get in there. Get in there. Now we are. Okay. Um, yes, I got this car off of a man. A magic man. You saw this in last week or whatever week's video. This was the white car. This is a 1990 Nissan 240SX and it was owned by the cameraman at one point. This is a Clutch Killers Media car. Shameless plug. And um, I have an addiction. And here we are. There's Number my, two. Uh, 95. That's a 95 S14. And then you guys saw this in the previous teaser. That is my new 92 93 S13. Anyways, that, I think it's Aztec red, ain't it? Uh, red. I believe so. If not, it's the other one. It's one of the reds. But um, yeah, we're walking around talking. Um, this car, the whole community, this car right here, um, the, the, the community, the 240 gods have blessed me, and recently I made a shout out about this car, and a lot of people donated parts. So here we are, um, the car rolls, it's almost ready to drive, the fenders are off because we're tucking wires. Does but, it um, still have the uh, lugs as holding it, up the... Do you want to see them? Go from, go from the side. It, it's there. It's in there. <laughs> to get zoomed in, um, right there are tuner locking lug nuts yep. from the last time we've had this car out. I have not replaced them yet. Yes, I will replace them before this car is running again. Well, actually, no, I lied. No, he won't. I oh, won't. Well. Um, it'll probably be after the car is running again. Why don't you torque him down? Dry. I'll Why torque, you torque down him the down. It'll be all right. <laughs> you yeah, want to move your fucking. The most important part. Yeah. Not that, that's from that's from an Oldsmobile. But um you've been waiting there's nothing in it. Okay. Yet. Yet. Um, we're building we've built a motor for it off camera. 
before I start the YouTube channel. Um, it's just been slow recently because I've not had motivation or proper weather. But here we are, and we've had motivation and proper weather. So now what is it, what, 10 o'clock? Uh, it is Nine now 9.38. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're out here. Um, and we're going to put this car back together wire-wise and see if we can't start getting some things lit up, literally. It's um, lit. Yeah. Yeah. Take the money. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bud. Think yeah. I think this through too well. <laughs> a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually. It's gonna get nicked up a lot more when it's in the car. So. There's some talking. Damn. Even your oil cap got glitter on it. Hot boy shit. <laughs> yeah. No. It's just got an eBay special uh, oil pump. Uh -huh. I, I was doing that because it was blurry the whole time. That's fine. We're just recording. But I, anyway. I want it to be high quality. Okay. We can keep talking. And just go through it again. What we're going and doing. Okay. Where do you want me to start then? <laughs> God. <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just with you. <laughs> I know where we're at. Do you? Yeah. We're on the Brian Crowers 264 camps. <laughs> yes. Then I have a mocha rebuild kit in it with the chains, the guides, eBay special polished water pump as well as, or polished oil pump with water pump. Um, just redid the actual crank because I had an unorthodox uh, lightweight pulley on it. Everybody said take off because it was not recommended for what I wanted to do with the boost end cam. I'm leaving mine on. Yeah, I, I kind of want to put mine back on, but uh, they said it's going to mess up the bearings that I'm using. So that's kind of where we're at. You, wait, are you are using the same bear? Mm-hmm. Well, we'll find out who's last longer. <laughs> Probably yours, to be honest. No, I mean, mine's, this is mine's a good built motor. Mine's not actually like a the unorthodox one. Mine's mine's unorthodox. Mine's mine, an SR21. So. Mine's a no. Mine's an actual like KA You're just lightweight mine's aluminum SR. pulley. Yeah. yeah, mine's an SR21, and that that ain't gonna work. Um, I love that you even inlet. painted your hardware for the okay. Weekend. This is supposed to be. Glittery too. This is supposed to be glittery too, but here we are. It's not painted yet because I haven't sealed it. Because I had to take it back off and resand the paint it because it all chipped yep. due to the paint up, uh, the weather outside. Brand new starter off my buddy. Uh, I forget his name off the top of my head. I would plug him, but um, I'll get that later. I actually don't remember his name, but I got it off Marketplace and he ended up actually sourcing a bunch of KA starters for me. If anybody needs them, I'll look in my DMs and find it. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets some Rayman uh, for a little bit cheaper than, um, or you know, any of this auto parts stores or anything. And when I mean cheaper, I got it for twenty bucks, and it's got brand new ratings. So, what do you do? You know, it's pretty nice. Um, Very nice. Did you say those are in Juku? Hmm? So those are eBay special. But for those, those usually come off of a Juku. Somebody sold them to us off, you know, second hand, and they're brand new, less than eighty bucks. Same thing with the trans mount, ISR short shifter. Um, All the pretty stuff. And we've also done important polished, which is a prototype. Um, here is the intake. Me and Max will port and polish the full intake, including rebuilding the blutter fox, um, doing a, um, doing the regular upgrade kit where you pull off all of the extra vacuums and clip whatever you don't need. Uh, we put new fittings on so we can run gauges, but you can see in here where the magic is. Get the light on or You're something. You're making me fucking twist all the way around, Jesus. I know. But you look in here. It's poured and polished. Um, I'm nice and pretty. Show them the uh, butterflies. The butterflies are gone in here. Yeah. But uh, if you look in there, we poured and polished it for the most part. This is not the prettier side. Unfortunately, I've already made it the prettier side. Um, ISR squid plate. Um, the list goes on. We've been we've been trying to put this thing together, right? New hardware, new um, Mocha rebuild uh, gaskets are in it. Then that last gasket will go on the intake once it's in the car, because I'll be putting the intake and the header on when it's in the car as well. Somebody did this, but ironically, we already needed it blocked off, so I'll probably just end up cutting it and doing it again. I re-put this in here because. Whoever had this car last snip this one off, and for boost gauges, I think it is. This is the perfect spot to do it. Um, and which one would you want to use 
for your, there's one of the bolts over here somewhere. Let me try to find it and I'll show you. <laughs> even the, nice and, yeah, even the Pretty top. glittery fucking intake um, manifold. This guy. You need some of these vacuums here. There's a bolt right here you can take off. Everybody blocks them for EGR. I think you can use this one right here. I can't, it's not really going to be able to see it, but um, there's a few hoses we've left on here not uncrimped or taken off. We put new ones in so that we can use it for gauges, vacuums, etc. Um, we're simplifying the system to make it a little bit better because uh, with these cars, what we're going to be doing, you're not going to need power steering, shit like that. I'm probably going to put it on this one, maybe, because I actually have the hardware, but um, yeah. we're simplifying. So we are cutting some extra EGR. Um, communist evaporative systems for these Japanese motors. You're gonna die. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh man, we're already starting then, huh? Yup. Okay, well, see it. I got to unplug the dash because we've done this three times. And every harness is giving me a different issue. This is the harness though, this is the one. Um, what I'm gonna do is make it work. As I should have done the first one, although there was five million wires. <laughs> um, I'm having a new issue every time I put the harness in. This time I realized it's probably because the first two harnesses were smashed in the rear, or smashed in this hole, I don't know why I said rear. Um, smashed up here in the left, footwell area because this car was wrecked up there um, it crimped all the wires and what we've done is pulled all that out we put our jaws of life frame bender and pushed all that out and I ran the wires a different direction through the actual door hole and that was a very bad mistake do not do that um, I think during the process of getting these wires through a extremely small hole I have actually caused a bigger issue and either cut the rubber coating around one of the wires or completely snipped one of the wires for ground or something in between that footwell to my switches to the right side of the door, the headlights, all of that because whenever I hit the brakes it starts popping a lot of fuses right now with battery power to it and I don't have many more fuses to keep popping fuses so we are going to pull it out Put it in the right way now that we've actually got the hole stretched back out where you can actually put the fuse block where it goes OEM factory. Um, once we do that, I'll be able to start chasing and doing test light and see where all the wires are going and make sure we're getting power properly. Because the first harness, or the second harness that I put in here, um, I got all the lights again, except that one was sometimes weird on the passenger. Um, what, the passenger headlight? Yeah, the passenger headlight. But now I've got lows, highs, and when I hit the brake lights, they pop. It doesn't just have brake lights anymore or anything in the rear. But um, the ground seems to be that way, and we're kind of going from there. Um, is now the process of removing this for a third time and pulling all of this out. Am yeah. I allowed to show this? I, I don't know. I mean, it's I? an 18 plus channel. I mean, it, there's going to be cuss words and comments, and I'm going to probably bleep it out. So, there you go. I don't know, man. Something happened. Uh, I blinked, and then it was morning from last night's video. I don't know how many videos we're in. I don't know what order we're going to be in. Uh, we've introduced that car in the teaser. This car now. Or just in the bin. Here's the other few cars of the collection. Uh, we have a 95 S14 roller that I'm working with. Um, we may be doing either a restoration on it or selling it to my friend. Don't really know what's going to happen with it yet. I got it. Good deal. There you go. Here it is. It's a clean interior. And I say that. Um, I took the airbag out. Um, this is the clip broke on it so it wasn't holding it. Other than that, it's pretty much there. Um, then I have this 83 Mazda RX-7 FB. It's also a roller. Um, we're going to be putting a motor in it shortly. And I think it's going to be a good project for the channel. Plenty of content here at Insomniac Garage. And so, uh, 
yeah, just to go through them. And we'll get back to some more wiring on this now. All right, so I have a tip for anybody that is deciding to change or run a new harness in their S chassis. When you're running it, make sure you run it through the factory hole that is in the very back. To get this ran, to get power, we managed to break down the fuse box right there, which is this little connector right here that connects and gives power to the front main harness and to your fuse box, which is connected down here. We broke that apart and was able to route it in through the um, door harness pocket instead of the fully farther back harness hole, there's a little spot for it, which you can see over there on that side is an actual ECU pocket. That's your door uh, harness hole. And on this side of the chassis, it's completely crushed in. That's why we stretched it out. I was able to get the old, um, the old harness out, and the problem I learned I caused is with the new harness being ran, I guess, in between fitting it through a super small hole. I actually cut the rubber coating off one of the wires and oddly specific enough it was the brake pedal wire for the switch because whenever you hit the pedal or push it down decompress it it lets that button come forward disengaging the signal and it allows a signal to come through to your body harness and have brake lights well mine just pops the fuses in this fuse box so helpful tip for anybody that uh, is running a new harness that is a big big factor that me doing this and recording it and showing it online in case you guys have the brilliant idea of running it through that small hole maybe condensed wires or whatever don't do it with the factory harness it causes a lot more issues and that's why I'm pulling this harness for the fourth time because I've taken, I've taken four harnesses to make this one as every harness I've been donated or bought or given has had one short here, one short there, and I may have just called the short in this one. So I'm pulling it out, going to expect the damage, use a test light, power it back up only from key to switches to the actual brake pedal sensor to see there where we're at. Anything I could recommend when running a harness? run your engine one first and bring it through then run your body harness from the back all the way up if not you just want to do it the original way is just split it and connect it split the harnesses and reconnect them here and then run this down I noticed it was a little bit easier doing it either way I mean either way you go after extending this harness out from the car I've already ran into problem number one. Yes, my wiring on the radio is a mess. Don't ask me about that. This is the best harness I had, and it still has a connector. I'll be working on that a separate day. Radio is not what's important right now. Making the car run and have proper lighting, that's the must. So I've already seen our first problem. Installing, removing any harness. This can happen in any S chassis, basically, is when you pull it through the dash, you have sharp areas that cut and expose wires like this one. Unfortunately the camera is not focusing so I can't really show it to you. Right there's an exposed wire. Right there's an exposed wire, that blue one with white. That's just one part to the radio harness. Then going down the line it looks like it appears to be right here on the radio ground it's been cut as well that's already been taped up before so I may have to go ahead and cut this open inspect it and maybe reconnect together luckily with both of these wires it looks like there is only just rubber that's been removed from it and so I'll probably clean that up and cover it with electrical tape and cover that part of the loon back up and go through here and inspect everything and make sure it's sound Oh, we're having the lens popped in front of the camera. I'll just keep going through the loom. Spot that doesn't look great right there, that's a gouge. So that could cause an issue. So I'll just keep looking for all of that. Basically inspect the harness and uh, show you guys maybe some of the process from there.
We've got a lot of harness to go through until we get to right here in our fuse box area. You can see some of the wires aren't the greatest. I need to make sure nothing's been pulled from the pins. I'm going to have to possibly sand this a little bit. Yes, sand. The plastic got cut up a little bit and gouged, and so I want it to fit in the pin still pretty snug, so where it may have gouged or scuffed or damaged and scarred the plastic where it might not give us the best seal, I'm going to go ahead and sand that off so I can get that back where it needs to be. There's a wire right there that needs to be fixed, clearly. I'll keep going from there. I hate that this is the newest, best harness I've got and put together, and it was shorting out the fuse to the brake lights and popping them. But since I noticed the error with where I put it and told my uncle to do it, now we're fixing my mistake. Just kind of go from there. Another one. Yeah. Alright guys, so we actually just finished the full zip tying and tidying up and uh, connecting everything that can be connected on this model. Uh, I'm going to be putting a new fuse in it and trying to actually check all the uh, points, make sure we're getting power to everything, see if we get brake lights, headlights, turn signals, see what we get because I'm really excited now that I've patched up the harness to hopefully finally be done with this because um, I'm not touching it again. Alright, so the moment of truth. We have lights. We have high beams. 
I think we have the tack the tack is glowing too, the tack is working. Um we have fuel even though we don't. We have lights. Do we have brake lights? I don't we're not gonna have reverse to hit the switch, do we have brake lights? We have brake lights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, thanks for watching, and uh, tune in next week for the next one. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Insomnia. Yeah.